Right, if you're working on a tight budget right now, finding golf just a little bit expensive, which it certainly has got, then maybe these are the new irons that you should be considering. You see, on a recent trip to Decathlon Superstore, I bought all kinds of stuff. Gloves, golf balls, drivers, hybrids, and these, the Inesis 500 irons, which I've got to say, I'd seen lots of pictures, they're not new. I'd seen a lot of pictures on the internet over the last maybe year or so. Someone else can tell me just exactly when these came out. And I have to admit, when I seen the pictures, I was really, really impressed. They're very clean looking. They look superb. And if I'm honest with you, I thought it was a premium brand. I had no idea they were available from Decathlon Superstore at £349 for a full set of irons. So my question now is, how are they so cheap and are they any good? Now I have to say I'm about 10, 12 balls in and so far so good. But the biggest surprise is just how good these things sound and feel. I'm amazed by what I've seen in terms of the Inesis products so far and I've only just finished testing the driver. I'm into this seven iron and I've got to say, this is a real, real shock again. And my first initial feedback with Club at Address in terms of what we always look at is kind of top line. This would fall into that game improvement category. There's no doubt about that. It's a thick top line. And in terms of the toe, um, it's got a very much a very strange cut off angle, which is different. It's not necessarily putting me off, but it's very different visually. But I've got to say the one thing that's impressed me so far in hitting the balls is the ball flight is launching the ball really easy. Um, ball flight seems really, really good. And I think these are launch, uh, sorry, lofted at 31 degrees so a stronger iron in terms of loft, in terms of traditional loft, but the ball seems to be going a long, long way in terms of its carry. I have to talk about aesthetics first and foremost because it's the biggest surprise for me. I love an iron that has, uh, well, it has a little bit of chrome in it, tick. It's got minimal markings, tick. The shaping and the profile of it in terms of overall size is relatively compact, to be honest with you, even though I've just mentioned the top line suggests obviously it's a game improvement style iron, but they look really, really good. The shaft I've got is an NS Pro shaft again, which is a good quality component, which is something I mentioned in the previous video. And the 99 I picked up had a UST recoil graphite shaft in it. So another great option and a great quality component. And the thing that surprises me more than anything, and again, if you watch the other video, I'm sorry, I'm going to repeat this in terms of the driver, is the one thing that you expect when you're paying low end in terms of budget money-wise, is there's some compromises, and those compromises would be the quality of the components used. And that simply just isn't the case in these irons, nor it was in the driver. So, so impressed with how these are put together. And like I said, visually, as a full set of irons, I think they look superb. Now, the other bargain I picked up was these Adidas Stan Smith-esque shoes. So we can't go any further without you letting me know what, uh, well, what your thoughts are on these as well, because I absolutely love them. Yeah, please tell me in the comment section below, how many of you are aware of uh, Decathlon stores? Because like I said, for my ignorance, I didn't really know. I knew it as a brand. I didn't know it was a sports superstore. I'd never been there before. It took me, it was about an hour's journey to find the, the nearest one to me. But I've got to say, I'm super impressed with what goes on there. It's like a giant DIY store with just sports products in and every sport product you could possibly imagine. And like I said, from a golfing perspective, I bought golf balls, I bought a towel, I bought these shoes, I bought a carburetor leather glove, we bought the irons, the hybrid and the driver. So there's a huge amount of product in there. And from what I'm seeing so far, really, really good quality at a really, really good price. And you don't hear that too often when the word golf is mentioned nowadays. So I think it's about time we talk negatives about this Inesis 500 iron from Decathlon. That's a tough one, you know. You see, the thing is when you're looking for, or when you're looking to review a product full stop, you're looking for both the positives and the negatives. One of the toughest things right now as a reviewer of product is that in general terms, it all tends to be fairly good. And that's why reviews nowadays, you could often criticize them for being too polite because like I said, picking fault with product is not easy. 
And that's very much the same here today with the Inesis irons at £349 for a full set of irons. I was expecting to find issues, those issues being, first of all, like I said, the quality of the build, it didn't do that. How it sounded and felt, it didn't do that. How the data looked in terms of performance, it's not doing that, spoiler alert for the end. So that, you know, it's really difficult to find a negative in these and just huge, huge positives because of that price point and everything else that we've said. The one negative would be is the limitations in terms of being able to get custom fit. Uh, that's not an option. The shaft options, again, albeit very, very good in terms of the quality of them, are also limited. So these irons are have their restrictions, have their limitations, but that's very minimal in terms of what you're offsetting against that cost gain that you're making. The question you've got to ask yourself is, how do you play the game right now? What are you looking to achieve from your game of golf? How serious do you take it? What is your end goal, I suppose? Because yes, there are better irons out there. Yes, there are certain gains that you can make if you really want to in terms of the performance of these irons or other irons, but that's going to come at a significant cost. And that's the question that, uh, like I said, you've got to ask yourself. I'm super impressed, you know. Now, before we get into the data and finish this one off, I've just switched up into uh, a nine iron. This has got the UST recoil shaft in, um, which really interests me because, first of all, this nine irons perform really, really well. It launches the thing into orbit. And I think that if you're looking for some ease of use, slightly slower swing speed, that recoil shaft is so, so good. You know, it's a reg shaft, but it does things with a very nice, easy tempo, gets the ball out there. And I think is a real good component in these things. The one other negative that, uh, and I didn't come up with a negative, so the one negative that I'll come up with is what I don't know is availability this product, just how easy it is to get hold of. When I visited the store in Stockport, just outside of Manchester, they had very little stock available for me to buy. Whether that's different online, I don't know. But that's a potential negative on just how easy it is to get hold of this stock. Whether it's a product that sort of comes in and the minute it hits the shelves, then it's gone, I don't know. So good luck with buying it. But in terms of the UST recoil shaft in the nine iron, whew, thumbs up. Now I always end my reviews with data and uh, for those of you really interested, the, uh, the full set of numbers I will throw up at the very end. Um, but what this average data, which is on screen for you now, is gonna tell you is these are incredibly good irons. A 170 carry, 20 degree launch, 115 ball speed, 4.3 spin, 98 peak height, and a descent angle of 46.9. Now in terms of a 31 degree seven iron, of which is quite commonplace right now, even though it's not traditional, then that kind of 170 carry is exactly where I'd expect it to be in terms of the top end irons that I've tried this year. So whatever I would put in hand, if I consider it to be a premium brand, premium product, 31 degrees, I'd expect 170 carry. The launch angle again, for me, absolutely bang on. Love that launch angle, anything around 20 degrees, but it's also suggesting that uh, it gets the ball nice and uh, high very easily. That 115 ball speed and the peak height of 98 and the descent angle of 46.9 means we've got every chance of stopping this ball on greens, even though the one criticism in terms of the data that you would pick up on is the low spin number at 4392. But bear in mind that in the majority of reviews I do, one of the issues based on my own delivery of the club is that often my spin number can be low. Not that low, it's not perfect, don't get me wrong, there are issues in that number there. And for that premium iron that I refer to, I would be looking at sort of a five and a half to 6,000 revs of spin in my own optimum performance, but don't forget that would be in a custom fit iron with a custom fit shaft and all those things that go into making that, that data spot on for your own personal performance, so big consideration. But the difference between those irons, most of those will retail at about 1,200 pounds. The ones I'm referring to refer, uh, are gonna be 1,200 pounds a set. These cost 349 pounds. That difference is huge. And for anyone looking to get into the game, and I think it's far, these are far better than, they're certainly not a beginner set of irons by any means, but if you are looking to get into the game and you're wanting to buy yourself a set of irons, a couple of wedges, a putter, a driver, a hybrid, a bag in there, a pair of shoes in there, some golf balls in there, 
then you can get a heck of a lot of that for a lot less than what you can buy a set of irons for from the major brands. So that's got to be a huge, huge positive. Um, but I would still not suggest anybody did that unless the performance, unless I felt the performance of the products was good enough to justify uh, a relevance of cost. And it does. It does it really, really well. I've been shocked by the two videos that we've put out. I don't know in which order or when or what, when you're watching these. But anyway, I've been shocked at the just how good the quality from Decathlon has been. I've got a hybrid to test. And I've also got their um, three-piece urethane covered ball to test as well. So going by these first two reviews, I've now changed my opinion. And there's a lot of expectation based built around the performance of those two. So we'll see how they get on in the coming weeks. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Stick your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of the Inesis 500 iron from Decathlon. Well done, Decathlon and Inesis.